Good morning, family and friends. Day two of our Franconia Ridge redo. Beautiful day today. Beautiful day. Yeah, let me give you a beautiful day. Blue skies. Sarge is ready. He's gonna go. he's gonna attack that ridge like it's never been. A yeah, we're gonna we're heading out of here, huh? Yep. Oh, hiker. Go ahead. Go ahead. So we're just uh, packed up our stuff, and now we're heading out to get water. We're gonna do about eight miles today. Uh, there's no water on the ridge, obviously, so we gotta. I'll be carrying almost two liters of water. We can do only eight miles, but we have quite a bit of climbing to do today. So it's gonna be a good day. It was 43 degrees this morning when I woke up, slept pretty warm. So here's our water source, and we're going to get some. So the weather for today, we're looking at summit forecast Thursday, in the clear, under sunny skies, winds 5 to 20 mile an hour, there's no wind right now, tonight, in the clear, Friday, in the clear under mostly sunny skies. Wow, <laughs> that's great, outstanding. Yeah, so we got water. Sarge is hitting the privy one last time. It is uh, 20 of nine, holy mackerel. We're used to getting on trail by seven, but hey, we're retired and uh, this is just a leisurely hike. So who the hell cares when we get on the trail? Well, we, uh, we are at the Franconia Ridge junction with this mountain is, uh, hold on, is uh, Mount Liberty. And we have this view of the ridge. Check it out. That's Little Haystack Mountain. And there's, that would be whew, Lincoln Lafayette, I think is behind it. Well, how about that, huh? We certainly didn't see this three years ago on my birthday. This is what you call the payoff after all that, oops, sorry, after all that big climbing. Wow. Back here at the uh, junction of, uh, at Franconia Ridge Trail, which is the AT, Mount Liberty dot three, we just did almost maybe quarter mile. Mount Lafayette is next three and a half. I, saw, I took a picture of that. Well, you saw the whole ridge. And um, so we came from Liberty Springs campsite, point three. What a beautiful day. Wait for Sarge. He's a little, he takes his time on the downs. It's okay. I want to get here safely. And now we're going to hit the trail. Going that way. It says here you are leaving forest protection area. Please help by practicing no trace, low impact camping, and hiking techniques. Enjoy your visit. Huh. Then I wonder what we're in here. I didn't think we'd see any. Nobo AT through hikers, but we've ran across three of them. One at the Liberty Springs we ate with dinner with last night. His name is uh, Midnight Snack. And then we saw a male-female couple. They left February 
24th. But they had to get off trail a couple times because of work. Uh, so that's why they're really kind of behind. But they've been getting some really nice views the past couple days. And I can't help but thinking three years ago when we went through here how dark we were walk, hiking in the clouds and now it's 180, 180 degrees opposite of what that was thank goodness thank the lord because I wasn't coming back here if it was another cloudy rainy day had to be clear that was a criteria had to be clear Going up the last little bit of climb up the top of <clears throat> little haystack mountain. Okay, see you at top. That's Mount Liberty where we were before. Climbing up and seeing this. Not on top of Haystack yet, but just had to take a moment and take this all in. Beautiful, huh? Here's another view further up. I feel like you're on top of the world here. Welcome to the Alpine Zone. Traveling in trails, keep dogs off of vegetation, camping unless on two feet of snow. I'm going to make Palladium drones. Following activities are illegal. Camping building of maintaining a campfire and landing of drones. Hmm. All right. I think the summit of Haystack is right around here someplace. I got up that crazy climbing. Wow, here's a great stealth site right here. Wow. What a great camping site. This is a great camping spot. Yeah, I'm gonna put my purse in nicely. Yeah, he'll take up the whole space. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't remember if there was a sign at the summit. I got a feeling. Over there. <laughs> Definitely on top of a ridge. Alright. See you later. Well, we're on just about on top of Little Haystack Mountain. You can see people up top there. That's Lafayette there. Interesting rock slab right there. Looks like there's some kind of hut right there. Might be a ski hut. Huh. <laughs> a 
Love these blue skies. All right, let's keep going. Top of a little haystack mountain. Hi, folks. There's a ridge rock up to Lafayette. So uh, now we're on the bridge. There's a lot of ridge walking to get to Lafayette. Right there. So three years ago, like I said, like I keep saying, I can't help but keep saying, we couldn't see anything. This is windy, cloudy, rainy, just generally crappy weather. Now, pay us to watch the weather. Long term, you know, once you hone in on a day, you want to be up here, and you can pull the trigger or not. We decided to pull the trigger and come up here. Next two days are going to be like this. Couldn't ask for anything better. Boy, we are blessed. That's my buddy Sarge. He's recording too. So here we go. Rock Cairn. This is the easy part. <laughs> you work your butt off to get up here, but this is the easy part. Okay, we can show you a little bit what you didn't see the last time if you followed my YouTube video of my AT through hike. Yep, still following those white blazes. All right, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Here's the ridge for a little state haystack mountain we just came from. That's Mount Liberty where we were before. We got a picture of all this. Take our time. I give a lot of credit to the trail maintainers up here, building these steps, maintaining this trail. Top of Mount Lincoln, 5,089 feet. Nice place to take a break. As a matter of fact, I can remember, we had lunch up here, I think right at this spot, Sarge. We're kind of huddled in these rocks here from the weather. Let's, let's do the same, only Relax. Beautiful. There's where we came from. A little haystack and then there's uh, Mount Liberty where we were this morning. Next conquest is Mount Lafayette. We left that lunch spot there and I turned my back 
and all of a sudden it's just a ton of people over there. <laughs> Glad we got there first. Now we have to go back, we have to go down here and back up to Lafayette. <clears throat> Sorry for the shaking, folks. Let the young kids pass. Go ahead. Just realized something amazing. There's absolutely no wind here. None. Not even a, a little bit of a breeze. Which again is the exact opposite when we were up here last time. A lot of people passing us. Young legs, day hikers. Just let them pass. We're taking our time. We only got five miles to our campsite, and it's uh, 12 15. Hello. Hello. Uh, just passed somebody back there. <laughs> All right, heading up to Lafayette. Now you can see the trails that goes down and up to the summit of Lafayette. Taking a rest on this nice rock, looking back at Mount Lincoln, heading up. A couple of weary hikers. It's only been day two on the trail. Top of Mount Lafayette. 5280. A lot of people up here. Oh, first evidence of a cloud we're going to hike into. <clears throat> I think we go down there. I think that's uh, Greenleaf Mountain, and we go down the other side, get to the campsite. Uh, get to the campsite, Greenleaf Mountain there. I think. <clears throat> Sorry, let me take a picture by the sign. Now we get a massive down. Clouds moving in. Looking back where we came from, Lafayette, starting to get clouds. You see the clouds starting to roll in. Now we got a big ass down coming up. And then we get to that. I think that's. Garfield, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's Garfield. Right there. Yep. Oops, sorry. See the road down there. I think it's 93, right? I believe so. All right, going down. See you guys later. 
When we're coming down off the ridge, it's been awfully tough. I'd say this is a long trail category down. It got pretty vertical. Slide down, a couple of butt slides, a few backward steps down. Yeah, I had all three. Frontwards, backwards, butt slide. And now we have to go back up again. Of course, it's the AT. That's what it does to you. But uh, we're only about two and a half miles from our campsite. And it's quarter to two, so it's not that bad. Actually, the down has become much more gradual, not totally vertical. So that's why I'm able to film a little bit now. A lot of people up here today. I don't blame them. It's a beautiful day. And it's the beginning of a holiday weekend. Labor Day weekend. Whew, still nice and cool. Okay. Just thought I'd show you. Uh, here's a southern view of the knot of the ridge. Looks a little too close. Trying to get in between these trees here. Yeah, we came down from there. We had to go down like 2,000 feet. <laughs> but yeah, this is the last glimpse of the of the ridge. Looking southbound. All right, this is very difficult up here. And I turn around and get this view. Climbing out Mount Garfield. Almost at the top of Mount Garfield and it breaks out to this viewpoint. So, I think that's Mount Liberty where we were before. And that's a little haystack. And that's Lincoln. And that's got to be Lafayette. And then we came down this baby. And up here. You know what? This is the mountain that I was looking at. I said, oh, we can't be going climbing up this thing. Yep, we're here. Wow. And we are beat. Ooh. Right, Sarge? Beat. Beat. Quarter of a mile to the shelter. Let's go. Appalachian Mountain Club, Garfield Ridge Campsite, given to member Ann Converse Backus, February 12th, 1949, February 4th, 1970. By the Backus family, of whom she and five other work on the AMC Hut and Trail Crew. Well, thank you, Backus family. Well, we are at Garfield Ridge Campsite. I don't know, a little place up there. Uh, we got water, nice stream. Huh? I don't know, I guess you know, sometimes a hike, a hike up there. I mean, uh, camp up there. But yeah, we're Caulfield Ridge campsite. It's quarter after five. Met a Nobo. That's slack packing Sobo. <clears throat> and uh, it's getting picked up tomorrow at Liberty Springs. So, well, here's the caretaker or the shelter. So let's find a place to hang. You screwed up. Oh. Oh, there's a hook right in the middle? Yeah. Oh, 
And you can't get it out? No. It's a process. Yeah, can you move it down? We're going to move this down. Oh, all right. Just the process of setting up. Past folks down there seem to be a nice group. But here we are. So we're going to do our, our uh, day's, day's night, uh, recap. We're here with a couple of uh, AT through hikers. Um, so we basically did, uh, well, you know what we did. And it was hard. <laughs> we're back in the whites, and the whites was always hard. So we did eight and a half miles today. Tomorrow's going to be almost a cakewalk compared to today. We're only going to do five miles. We're going to get off the AT. We're going to be on the AT for two miles. Then we're going to go Franconia Bridge, Franconia Brook Trail. And then after that, we uh, will be at a tent site. I'm going to do about six miles. And it's go we're going, we'll be going down. We had a lot of ridges. That, we had a lot of ridge walk today. Tomorrow will be a lot of stream crossings. And uh, so let's hope they're not really that that deep and not flowing a lot so that's it eight miles fun day um it was a beautiful day as you saw glad we came back here with the good weather because it's gonna be nice tomorrow too so that's it eight miles we'll see you tomorrow god bless